Hi guys, you're welcome back to Don't Pay TV. On today's episode, I'm gonna be telling you more about this movie, Zaz End. It has begun. What has begun, sir? I'm gonna be giving you just a sneak peek into Zaz End. Zaz End. Zaz End. Zaz End. You already know, so stay with me right here on Dumpy TV channel. And if you have not subscribed, hit the subscription button right now and get all the gist as it be hot when it drops. You know, about whatever it's cooking, whatever is happening right here on Dumpy TV because we're gonna be giving it to you hot hot. So guys, I'm here today to tell you about Zaz End. Yeah, first of all, the storyline, um, what it uh, entails. Um, it's a good movie. It's uh, an original story, a story that we all know. It's a story that uh, um, helps to maintain our narrative. You know what I'm saying? So that's what got me to be part of the movie. As usual, that is what we know how to do best. The punching for the poor machine. You know? You know? Very soon I will activate it as one of my punching centers. So that poor machines can easily walk in and receive a punch in. Copy of the billionaire. <laughs> you get the point now? You get the point now? That is just, that is just it. Thank you. And remember, this movie which premiered at the civil, the, the, this this movie. <clears throat> I remember this movie, which premiered at the Silver Belt Cinema in Accra Mall, just sometime last year, October twentieth, to be precise. You know, is about to hit you right here on YouTube. Please come support us. So the P Art Gallery finally announced the hitting of this black burster. I mean, black. First movie, you know, which is going to be dropping right here on YouTube on 12th of June. Do you hear me? I said 12th of June. So if you have not subscribed to this channel, stop playing, you know. Subscribe right now and put on your notifications so that you can get all the juicy updates before the movie. The blockbuster itself says and drops here on YouTube. So um, I'm going to be telling you, you know. What you don't know about this movie, just a sneak peek because I'm not going to tell you everything. If I tell you everything, you might lose your interest of wanting to watch it because you'll be like, Ray has told us everything now. What is the essence? So I'm just going to tell you a bit of it because you just have to see this movie. Remember in the previous episode, I told you that if you watch this movie and you don't cry, come to me. I will give you. Did I even say $200? I will give you $500. If you watch this movie and you don't cry, you don't shed real tears, I will give you $500. How about that? I'm not kidding. I'm serious. Remember, Dumpy has given me the money to keep because I told him that this movie made me cry. And some people are doubting me that it made me cry because I'm too strong. But then again, what do I know? So just keep it locked here on YouTube. I mean, don't be YouTube. Keep it locked here. This movie is as an, is an innovative adaptation of true event that rocked Africa in the month of October, 2020. When I mean Africa, I'm talking about the most populous black nation in the world, Nigeria. Protests have rocked major cities and states across Nigeria. No way. We can't afford a youth uprising in this crucial time. These young people are going for for, for integration. They want to obtain the country. What is this? This brutality ended my happiness. Police brutality denied my unborn child a father. All I want is justice. I am going to appoint him 992.2 billion 
via Bitcoin so that this movement can continue. With the way things are going, it is not proper for them to be here. I'm not proud of you. 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 Protesters turned violent, with people going as far as setting police stations ablaze and also attacking and killing policemen. What is going on, Sandra? What happened now? They're shooting the protesters at the target. Where is Joe? Just enjoy the boy. Like I said, it's classified 15 years and above by the National Film Board of Ghana. So a sneak peek from the movie, synopsis is revealing that the storyline is about the lead character eh, of the movie named Osas. Osas played a very key role in this movie. And guess who Osas is? Osas is it no sir. It no sir finish work. It no sir finish work. Hmm? <laughs> if no say the actor beg you the act I could walk up for you take your flowers so she played Osas in this movie had her husband killed by a policeman after collecting huge sum of money from the family for bill can you imagine that policeman took huge sum of money for Bill and still shot her husband. Just imagine that if you're a woman. That's crazy, right? That's what it knows her in the character of Osas went through in the movie. Osas, the pregnant and bereaved wife of this slain officer, cursed the land in anger and, and the people against the few, like talking about the few corrupt law enforcement agents she cost them like they will never know better they will never see better do you understand because she felt the pain she felt the pain so the movie Zaz and embodies a positive message and portrayed how the feedback eggs in the police force you are flushed out of the force after their actions led to the revolt by the masses yeah the 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 few the few bad eggs in the police got flushed out from the police force you know after the revolt by the masses you know that you know that came as a reaction you know when this police officer was killed do you understand remember what happened what actually do you really remember what happened and how it led to end strikes it has begun what has begun sir that led to end strikes. you can you remember then that is what the picture is trying to paint you get it so with a cast featuring nollywood icons like kanayo kanayo in came oh popular known as Sofia, Choma Chukuka, Abota, EGK Asibu, and the new media sensation like it no side, the Modia, the Brilliant Prince White, the Maker Marquese, and the movie. Omo, this movie is gonna shut down YouTube. You feel me? It's gonna shut down YouTube because it's it's full of suspense, emotions, betrayal, especially by these bad eggs in Nigeria police. The betrayer in this film. Hmm? We need to have love, unity, trust. But betrayal of trust that is bestowed on the Nigerian police is what led to all this. I mean, by the bad ex, the bad ex to be precise. Very lovely masterpiece that tells the story of Ensas. This is a movie you have to see. This is a movie that has become the monument, the monumental memory rather, of what happened at Lekki Target. From the interviews conducted so far, I will tell you that this movie is not done despite the government, it is not done despite the police, but it is a constructive criticism that will rather put the government on their toe to do the right thing. So, you're going to look out for this movie, you're going to Turn on your notification button on YouTube and stay glued on this channel, Don P T V. When this movie drops, you're going to watch and you're going to cry. It's just a few months, few weeks away from now, if I'm not mistaken, and the movie drops, it comes right to you.
via this channel. So share the information, tell your people, tell your friends, tell everybody to come and subscribe to so Don't TV. It's about go down. I'm the associate producer of the movie Zazen. So from all you've seen and heard, just tidbits, just sneak peeks into this movie, you can at least be sure, be rest assured that this movie is gonna blow you, blow your mind. It's gonna blow your mind. So get ready to be entertained. June 12th. Keep the deals. For now, it's the bye from Ray. Don't be TV. Subscribe. The officer killed my husband. An innocent man. Police brutality ended my happiness. Police brutality denied my unborn child a father.